What up awesome internet people? How's it going? So if you have an old computer and you try to decide what to do with it, why not install Android on it? Android actually works pretty decent as a desktop OS. It allows you to browse the web, being able to access some of your favorite apps, and have a basic word processing machine. So let's check it out. Okay, so I have an old desktop that is running Windows XP. No surprise there. And the specs on this are very weak. It's running an Intel Pentium 4 single core processor with less than one gigabyte of RAM and a 250 gigabyte hard drive. So I had nothing else to do with this other than install Android on it. So to install Android is very easy. We're gonna use the Android x86 ISO and I'll write a link in the description below. Now the latest build is on KitKat. There is an ice cream sandwich branch out there, but you're gonna to have to build it yourself. So just use KitKat and make things easier. Now to install it, we're gonna use a free program called Rofus. Just select your USB drive, select the ISO, and it'll automatically create a bootable USB drive for you. Now inside of your computer, what you wanna do is make sure you boot from your USB flash drive that you installed Android 2. So connect it, go to your boot devices, and make sure you choose USB device, and boot up the Android x86 image. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to installation and install the image to the hard disk. So select that option, Okay, so you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do this just because I don't want any of our partitions on a hard disk other than Android. So I'm gonna go into the settings. I'm gonna delete the existing partition on there, which is the Windows partition. And I'm gonna create a new partition, make it my primary partition. And I'm gonna allocate the whole entire size to it. Finally, I'm gonna change the type to Linux, just so I have one big Linux partition on this hard disk. Again, you don't have to do this, it's just I just don't want Windows on my uh, computer, honestly. So we're just gonna delete everything Windows from this. So finally, let's write partition to the disk and save the changes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go choose our partition, format as ext3, and we're gonna choose yes, and it's gonna start the partition. Yes, we do wanna start the grub bootloader. And yes, we do wanna set it as read write system directory. Now finally at this part, you actually do want to reboot. Don't choose run Android x86 or you'll be like me and waiting forever for it to boot when it won't reboot. So once you reboot it, it should go and automatically open up into the Android x86 environment. It's going to start up in the grub bootloader, give it a few seconds, and it's going to all boot into the Android x86. So now you can set up this as you normally would on any Android device. When it comes to internet, I don't have a Wi-Fi adapter. I'm connected directly via ethernet. So I'm just gonna skip this step. If you're connected via ethernet, skip to step two. And finally, now that it's all up and running, I'm gonna go and update all my Google apps and everything else and all the other good stuff. This does come with the Google Play Store and all that, so you have access to all the apps. And just to go into settings real quickly, I just want to show you that you do have a lot of disk space available. I have the whole entire hard drive available, so all 250 gigabytes, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So like I said, Android actually works pretty good as a desktop environment. Honestly, you have access to your multimedia, such as YouTube and other things like that. Um, and like YouTube video playback is actually pretty good. There is some stuttering and lag, and that's due to the fact that, again, Android was not really developed to run on a desktop CPU, and you're kind of making it run on desktop CPU, so there's still that layer of just lag somewhat, but still, it works pretty well as it's a basic streaming app, and web browsing with the stock browser, or I should say the AOSP browser, works extremely well too. I'm able to browse web pages, and everything is smooth without too much stutter or lag, and I can definitely see myself using this if I really had to use this as a desktop OS. It's actually not that bad, honestly. Now, there's one thing, gaming does not work, and again, that's because a lot of libraries, the C and C++ libraries, make use of the X, of the ARM CPU, and you're running on a desktop CPU, which kind of causes a lot of crashing. So guys, this has been a quick video on how to repurpose an old computer and run Android on it. I hope you liked this video. I'll provide all links down below in the description. And like I said, if you did like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.